We don't even know the family of the people who will be staying with, so this is like true nomadic living. Go. Cool. What would you guys do if you're if you were lost out here in the wilderness, Mongolia? Back in Toon Hill with Oka, the legendary one and only. He's leading us to somewhere. I have no idea. Where are we going? Man? Nowhere. Actually, we are going to the wild. That's the information. Okay. Well, that's that's all we know. We're going into the wild. We're on horseback, and. I have no idea what to expect. We're like really, wait, you can't see me. Here we go. We're really like in the wilderness, wilderness now like very far away from a town. It's only horses and people. All I know is that it's super green. There's a lot of horses, There's a lot of cows, few people, no more marts. <sighs> Looks like we're on our own. One more thing, you see this horse? My horse, he's so stubborn. He doesn't want to go. I don't want to hit him because I don't want to make the horse hurt, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so this kid here, he's like... Oops, he's like, I don't know if you can see him, like right here, the red hat, he's like a nomadic kid living out here in the wilderness, maybe in one of those geds, and I guess we're asking him like directions because actually we're lost in the wilderness, like really lost. Okay, so we just finished riding horses for like four hours, maybe even longer than that, and we wrapped up the horses here. Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. But yeah, so now we're gonna be staying at these gears over here. We don't even know the family of the people who we'll be staying with. So this is like true nomadic living. Okay, so now we're in the pitch black, going to yeah, I don't tie know. down the horses so they don't run away while we're eating and sleeping. <laughs> so dark, can't really see anything. Oh. There's one. Um, anchor this one. Saddle number one. Saddle number two. Saddle number three. Okay. Let me bring one. You have five? You bring the huge thing. Okay. Okay guys, it's 7.30 in the morning. I was up at 5.30. And yeah, not because I couldn't sleep, just when you're out camping and stuff, I tend to wake up early, or people tend to wake up earlier. One thing that I didn't expect uh, being out here and sorry for my face, I just woke up. Looks like it's a bit swollen. <laughs> but yeah, one thing that I didn't expect was how much thinking I would do about life and about things that like really matter. And you see people living out here in the countryside and by our standards, by Western standards or first world standards, we would say that they don't have much, but in actuality, they have a lot more than we do. Maybe we have too many things or too much of the wrong things that we don't need. So, I mean, I've been doing a lot of a lot of thinking recently. So, definitely when I get back to Korea, uh, there are going to be some changes. Well, 
cow. So he's going to go from cow to cow. Well, cow to cow that has a calf. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And milk the cow until that bucket is full. Okay, all these horses came over here to, to graze. They're just wandering around, wandering around on their own. It's cool. There's a little shepherd dog here who's trying to be my friend. <laughs> Making sure the horses stay where they uh, where they're supposed to be. Okay, you see that spot over there, that turquoise till place. That's the toilet. So, yeah, that's where we go when we need to <laughs> relieve ourselves. So, it's a trek. It's pretty far away from the the camp. <laughs> Okay, guys, I forgot to show you our gear. Well, I showed you, but I didn't talk about it. So, this is traditional Mongolian nomadic house. So, this gear can be deconstructed and moved, and it's very warm in here. I think there's like some kind of special tarp right here but in the past I believe it was covered with animal hide and here that was my bed very messy but you can see there's grass here because here in the center they use like carpets and I guess another piece of tarp or something to make it more homely or flat so um, or comfortable rather but yeah so there were one two three four five of us in here last night and it was very very warm it was very comfortable and some mosquitoes came in but i think uh, it was okay so yeah when they say countryside living you haven't experienced countryside living until you've lived or stayed overnight in a gas okay so guys now <laughs> that cow is angry in the background i think he's calling over his friend anyways yeah my my horse ran off in the night and that horse was perfect it listened to me it galloped when i wanted it to gallop gallop it uh it stopped when i wanted it to stop but i guess it wasn't happy with the life of, of incarceration or a life of servitude i'm out here and i'm in traditional mongolian nomadic attire and i'm on the horse that i was on before i changed to my new horse yesterday and this horse is acting better but i don't know i just realized like being out here in the wild it's really important to have a good relationship with the horse because this horse can save you if i weren't on my horse i would have to walk all the way back can you see those white buildings in the background that's the gear yeah. so i would have to walk all the way back there um yeah it would not be fun at all yeah i hear you i hear you check this out my friends they went galloping my horse isn't listening to me it's not galloping and they left me and they haven't come back and I've been been out here for like an hour just me and the horse wandering around because it, it won't listen to me like it really won't listen to me and there are no gears or anything around so like no people <sighs> shit <laughs> and it's raining god lee just me and my freaking camera it doesn't listen it just keeps going look at it bad horse <sighs> look at him he's just eating that's all he cares about is eating he doesn't care if we're lost or anything like that <sighs> oops Okay, so I just mounted, I'm walking, and it's raining. And I'm, I'm stuck here in the wilderness in Mongolia. Can you hear the rain? It's really coming down. Yeah, it's because you, you don't want to gallop. Uh, 
What's wrong? Oh, now you want to be friends with me, huh? Now you want to be friends. Okay, so I'm here with the bad horse. He's like nudging me now. <laughs> now he wants to be my friend. Say hi, horse. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna. Dang. Put on my hood. I'm gonna just sit here. Maybe someone will come and get me. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Why they always give me the bad horses? Hmm. What would you guys do if you're if you were lost out here in the wilderness, Mongolia? Oh shoot! I just got I got scared because there was something walking behind me. It was my horse. The horse is smarter than I thought. The horse kept nudging me to get on, and now he's like nudging me to go. But he doesn't want to gallop. He doesn't want to go forward. He just wants to sit here and chill. There's one good thing. It stopped raining. Oh, I hear galloping. Oh. 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 Hey, someone came to get me. So, I'm like so happy someone came to, to get me. So, yeah. Let's uh, not look a gift horse, <laughs> no pun intended, in the face. And let's get back to the the camp before it starts raining again because I was really scared. <laughs> Okay, now we're back in the gear and Oka is making a fire. I don't know how he made it. How did you make that? Did you light that on fire or? Yeah, just light her. I just used a lighter. <laughs> Well, that thing is crackling. Blazing fire. You can hear it crackling. Whoa. So you can see, oh, Bella. Mongolians eat a lot of carbs. You can see this pastry, like cake cookie, and this bread, and this is like lamb soup. Yeah, a lot of carbs because outside is very cold. So we need food to keep us warm. Go. Okay guys, what a, a day, what an adventure. We still haven't found Oka's, Oka's teacher, so I wonder when that's gonna happen. Anyways, yeah, it finally stopped raining and we're still here in the beloved Mongolian countryside. So, yeah, we're gonna eat, we're gonna dry off and yeah, I just want to tell you like really quickly before I leave, like the nomadic culture is a bit more difficult than I thought. Like I, I said that it's time consuming earlier, but it's also difficult. Like they have to do everything before the sun sets. And there's a lot of work that just goes into their day, especially cooking food and preparing, um, you know, water. They have to drag the water bottle all the way to the river and bring it back it's just it's tough like me being lost today is nothing compared to what they have to go through like you know all day and also like just how they live i'll explain more later Okay, good morning guys. 
it's another fine day here in the wilderness and the rain has finally stopped and wow look at my friends just walked up on me they're just curious about like who i am wow look at him he's coming up real close hello this is nomadic life they just walk up on you chilling i don't want to touch him because he's got horns or she has horns i'm gonna go out to the wilderness to use the restroom because someone is in the in the outside restroom that I wanted to go. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a trek. <laughs> but this is life in the wild. I mean, you have to roll, roll with the punches. trek just to to use the restroom i gotta navigate through all of this look at this water all right i think i'm far enough from everyone our gears are there so yeah i think i'm gonna plant myself right here and hopefully i don't fall into the water I feel like castaway these horses just like ran right by me <laughs> okay that was that was quite an experience. <laughs> it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. But one thing that I can tell you is that there are a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, now going back into the gear and everyone is awake. So this is how our gear looks. It's very garish. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't have a fire here yesterday, but we finally had one installed last night. Oh, someone is still sleeping. Oh, it's him. He always sleeps late. <laughs> See, look, everyone is doing something. So the guy over here is fixing the car. His girlfriend is helping him. The other brothers are taking care of the horses. The little boy is playing. And the other guys are cooking the marmot. So everyone's like doing something. The wife of the the man who's like the head here of the family, she's inside cooking and preparing other stuff too. So yeah, everyone has something to do here. So that time and effort and energy is not wasted. You make a sound. Okay guys, it's time to ride the horse without the saddle. Wish me luck. Oh shit. <laughs> not, not back. Oh, not so much back. Here? Yeah, here, uh, front. Front. Yeah. Ah, jump on there. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> No, no. Back? If you riding back, it can jump. <laughs> no, no, let's not. <laughs> yeah, let her try. Should I try? Yeah. Yo, the horse almost kicked me off. Let's not do that. I don't want to get kicked by the horse. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> 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 How does it taste? Um, it's it's new and it's fine. It's, it just takes a lot of work to remove the furs hmm. and yeah, furs are everywhere. Look at the hair. Look at 
this. This is the hair. Remove it. So many hair. Good hair. Nothing. Okay. So this part you share with everyone. Mm. <laughs> Like a, there's one drama. The one classic guy is actually the winter law. Winter law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Huh.